What up everybody? My name is Stanley Steen from Team Deberu and today we are going to take a look at Volume DSP's planning tool to see how to decide on what ad exchange you are going to use. So let's dive in. So here we are inside of Volume DSP's planning tool. So I'm going to show you what you can do with this planning tool and how you can optimally use it. But before we dive in, let me tell you that the beta of the new Debaru Suite platform is almost going live. We're about to welcome the first users to the beta test of our new platform. So if you haven't done so yet, make sure to sign in for the beta waiting list. I'll drop a link down below near the comments so that you can use to add yourself on the waiting list and get free access to the beta test of the Debaru suite with lots of different software that you can use for your affiliate marketing journey. And we will also provide coaching and courses, et cetera, et cetera, all inside one platform. So make sure to sign in for the beta waiting list to get your free access. Now let's dive in. So the DSP planning tool, why do we use it? What do we use it for and how does it work? Well, basically the DSP planning tool helps you plan on where to buy your traffic, right? So, We've got a couple of different ad exchanges right here. As you can see, Life Intense, Mato, Mopop, Improved Digital, Ad Mixer, MGID, Outbrain, Ref Content, Tabula, AdThink, Nativo, Infolinks, Pop Native, Fiber, Engagia, Mobfox, Pesendo, and WordPress are just a couple of the ad exchanges right here in the DSP planning tool. So how do we use it? We use basically this information to get a better understanding of where I'm going to buy my traffic from, where do they have the traffic that I need, where do they have the traction that I need on those websites, and which ad exchange is the best for my geo and my vertical. That's basically what you want to know. So to look at the verticals of these ad exchanges, we go outside of the planning tool and we say, okay, we're gonna create a new campaign. There we go, with the DSP. And as soon as you've done that, you click on native. Right here, you get all the ad exchanges that are available. So if you type in, for example, Nutra, you will get a list of the ad exchanges that are best for running Nutra offers. So then we have these ad exchanges and you can see what countries they have high volume with, but we'll get back to that in a second. So this gives you an understanding of like, okay, where are these uh, ad exchanges good in? Crypto doesn't take that, uh, but maybe we can use uh, investments. Nope, health, health, for example. So you can see, okay, Infolinks, Pesendo, Pop Native, and Viber are, uh, have health as a vertical that they specialize in. So health and Nutra are quite similar, but Nutra is a bigger list. So yeah, you can play around with this and see what kind of ad exchanges come up to give you a first understanding of like what every ad exchange is good in, is personal, personally professionalized in, right? Where is their biggest, what is their biggest vertical basically? So when we go back to the DSP planning tool, you can see that you have different groupings to select. So the first is the ad exchange. Obviously we want to know the name of the ad exchange and you can choose your grouping right here. So for example, you can say ad exchange, ad type, browser, city, connection type, country, creative size, uh, device brand, device mobile, a uh, model, uh, device type, ISP, mobile carrier, operation system, operation system version, placement name, 
region and source type. So for example, if you want to go for a specific region, you might want to add this and you can see the exact region that they are uh, promoting in and you can see how many traffic they have for that region. But I'm going to use country since that is most applicable. So for example, you have a, a certain campaign or a certain offer that you want to promote in a specific country, then you want to know, okay, what kind of ad exchanges could I use to get my traffic from for that specific country? And we have a whole list here. So what I like to do is sort this on country. And then for, for example, if we want to run a campaign in the United States, we would go look for United States. So we have a couple here. We can also search United States. We should, okay, that doesn't work. So yeah, we will just have to do it manually. That's all good, no worries. So let's refresh this, okay. So let me go to page 20 and see what we have there. Whoops. Tanzania, all right, Uganda, Ukraine, next page. And there is the United States. All right. So we have Ad Mixer, Ad Think, Engagia, Improve Digital, Info Links, Live Intent, MGID, Mopop. Mobfox, Nativo, Outbrain, Pacendo, Pop Native, Ref Content, Smato, Tabula, Viber, and WordPress. So then in the next chart, we have the average bid floor right now. So this doesn't tell you anything about the real price that they're paying for the traffic here, but this does give you a better understanding of what the average bid floor is. So where do the affiliates start and step in? Uh, and this doesn't represent what they buy the traffic from, but this does give you a better understanding of the costs uh, that you can expect somewhat. So this one, improved digital 155.94 average bid floor, that doesn't seem right. But if we take a look at the amount of traffic, so even their CPM, average win price CPM is 45 cents. So that's more realistic than 155.94. So this is more like it. But then if you look at the amount of traffic they have, or at least the uh, amount of bid requests in the last 24 hours, we have 2.3 million which is pretty decent, but not a whole lot, especially considering that we're tar targeting the complete United States, right? If we would have a specific region that we want to run in, which gets a little bit more difficult, uh, but then these numbers would be more in line. But for the complete United States, 2.3 million bid requests in 24 hours is not a whole lot. So if you want very much high traffic, high volume traffic, we would probably look at something like this. It is live intent in the United States. Average bid floor is 66 cents right now. And the average win price of the last 30 days is 88 cents right now. And they have 660 million bid requests in the last 24 hours. So what does that tell you? That tells you that either they have a lot of different placements and a lot of just a lot of traffic, right? Loads and loads of traffic or slash and there is a lot of competition right now, right? So the bid request gathers all the bids <clears throat> saying that if you have one user and 10 people bid on getting the ads for that one user, then you would have 10 bid requests. So it can add up pretty quick. So 660 million is a pretty good number, but that does not mean that 660 million ads were shown in the last 24 hours with this ad exchange. It just means that that's the amount of bids that they got. So let's dive in a little bit deeper. We can choose a grouping 
and say I want the region in there in there now we get a huge list so don't get shocked it is now 22 pages and now it's 200 pages so we still focus on the country and I still want to see the United States so then we would probably be somewhere around here let's see oh damn Wow, all right, one shot, okay, cool. So United States, we've got Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, uh, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, District of Columbia, etc., etc., etc. So if you want to focus on a specific region, which is not common using native ads, but you can if you really want to, then right here you can see, okay, how much traffic do they have in a certain state? So for example, if I want to focus my ads on Wyoming, then um, I could see, okay, Ad Mixer in Wyoming had almost 89 million bid requests in the last 24 hours. I'm sorry, that's 89,000, not 89 million, but 89,000. Smaller state, right? Less traffic there for Ad Mixer at least. So some of these states have more traffic. Look like uh, looks like Virginia has a lot more traffic. 4.7 million bits requested in the last 24 hours, and Texas even more. Right, bigger state, more traffic. Seems all logical to me. Then we also have some states that have pretty minor results, minor bit requests. So let's see, 91 here. 91 here so then we talk about west virginia pennsylvania tennessee so if you really want to play on a specific specific region if you really want to focus on a specific region because maybe you had the same offer with your facebook ads and you notice that specific regions of the united states tend to buy more than other regions for whatever reason then you could use this dsp planning tool to see okay if i want to specifically go for alaska i want to see who has traffic for alaska and by clicking on this plus you will get all the results of the different ad exchanges in alaska so that makes it even easier so if we take this back to we delete this to here then we can also say okay um, we were at 185 let's go to 186 now just to get some different results so for example i can also say i just want to see united states and by adding the country united states to the search you get all the results of country united states still with all the different regions so we can turn it off by clicking choose grouping here and refresh it or leave it on if you want the specifics of the regions for each ad exchange. So if we delete this for a second, we can see all the United States results, right? So these are all the ad exchanges that currently have traffic available in the United States. Then here is the average bid floor. So we can also sort on that. And then we see, okay, 0, 0.0 is the average bid floor, is the lowest average bid floor, but that's not realistic, right? We still have to pay for our traffic, unfortunately. So then we have these three for 20 cents, that is AdThink, Pacendo, and WordPress, and then the prices get up. These are unrealistic as well. Uh, so yeah, and then right here, we have the average win price for the last 30 days. These resemble uh, are a bit better um, so 29 cents right here which is decent 59 cents here so if you would choose this over this I, I would personally assume that either the quality is better um, or the placements are better or whatever right and then right here the bid request so this gives you a view into how much traffic is there available and slash or how much competition is doing the same thing right here 
And these regions that we uh, that I showed you before are not just states as United States um, has a lot of states, but they can also be regions of the country itself. So for example, when we look at the United Kingdom, let's see if we can get that. The United Kingdom obviously don't has uh, doesn't have states since it's a kingdom. So let me show you how that works. So United Kingdom, let's add that to the search. We get all the different traffic opportunities for the United Kingdom. And then we put region on there as the third grouping and we can apply that. And now we have the different regions. So if you want to go for a specific region, you can use the DSP planning tool to see where the traffic is available and how much traffic there is available and what the current average wind price is and the current average bid floor. So this will give you a better understanding of where traffic is available and how much it's going to cost you and this will make planning your campaign a lot easier and managing your cash flow will get easier with this as well as you already have the information before you launch your campaign and start wasting money on, money on it. Uh, so yeah, this gives you a better understanding of what's happening in the market, which can be very valuable uh, if you want to plan out your campaign and plan out your cash flow strategy. That's going to be it for today. Make sure to sign in for the beta waiting list as the first people are getting access to the new platform as we speak. So make sure to sign up for the waiting list and you'll get free access as soon as possible as well. That's going to be it for this video. I'll catch you next time. Peace out.